So our lab is interested in the ways that people make decisions about adaptively important domains such as mate choice and food choice and searching for information. And one of the things we've been particularly interested in with respect to the mate choice question is the cognitive mechanisms that people use when they are deciding how attracted they are to somebody that they first meet or even before they meet them. One of the ways that we have looked at this kind of question of the cognitive mechanisms people are using in mate choice is through the use of speed dating. We ran a bunch of speed dating events in Germany and they're a great way to look at some of the initial choices that people are making in a mate choice context because we can collect data about people making a lot of different mate choice decisions within the course of just a single evening. What we wanted to do was to see whether or not people are choosing the kinds of traits that they say they're going to be choosing. And what we found was that people say they want somebody who is like them on this variety of different traits, but who they actually end up choosing is different. It's actually people who have complementary traits to them. So given all of the data that we collected in the speed dating events, we we're able to take those videos and use them in our lab here to look at another interesting question, namely, how much are people influenced by the mate choices of others? And the way that we have done that is to take the speed dating videos that, that we have from our earlier studies and show them to people here in our lab. And so, for instance, a man, a heterosexual man, would be watching an interaction between a man and a woman in the speed dating videos, and he would judge whether he thought the man in the speed date was interested in the woman, and he would also judge how attracted is he to that woman, both before he sees the speed dating interactions and after. If his interest in the woman in the speed dating video increases as a result of watching another man having a positive interaction with her, then this is an instance of mate choice copying. And indeed, this is what we found for both men and women in our studies. So whether or not our results can be used to actually predict who is going to end up being interested in whom, I don't think that we're there yet. Uh, so these are kind of broad patterns that tell us across a large group of people, we'll see uh, the preponderance of them who are being influenced, for instance, by uh, the choices of others or who are making certain kinds of trade-offs and traits. But that doesn't allow us to say for any given couple who meet up, are they going to have that spark? Are they going to actually hit it off or, or not?